What's up? What up? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today this is going to be an interesting one. Yeah. I'm here with a woman who uh, I saw on the internet just scrolling on talk and your clip came up and it was very pinpointed, very interesting. And I was like, whoa, we got to like, this is like against the grain. So I reposted it and then you hit me up and we were like, uh, <laughs> it'd be nice to be tagged. And then Abby's like, you got to have her on your pod. So love but, Abby, ladies and gentlemen, it's Emily. What's your last name? Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you this. I know nothing about you other than I've watched a few of your grams and a lot of people at least four people said, you got to have her on. <laughs> like, she's highly opinionated. And you even said, can I talk about what I want to talk about? And I said, yeah. So whatever we talk about, I have questions for you. I just don't want to do anything, like, hateful. Because, you, know, you know, it's not good to be. But I understand that people can say something is hateful and it's not. Yeah. Um, but I'd really like to ask you some questions. If you're cool with that. Yeah, of course. You can literally ask me anything. I also don't believe in hate speech. I don't think it's a real thing. Well, there are people that are hate hateful. You agree mm -hmm. with that? That's all, like, based on really opinion, though. It's funny that, like, an entire, like, website can determine what they think is hate speech. I think that's funny. Which website? I mean, technically all of them. They all yes. do it. Yeah. Yes, they do. So, what is your... Emily Wilson, where are you from? <laughs> Um, I was born in Newport Beach. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sizzle. I should have knew right a whistle. Okay, you know what's so funny is as soon as I say I was born in Newport, everyone's like, oh, it makes sense. And I'm like, well, okay, I grew up in Seal Beach. That's what, that's profiling. Yeah. We're profiling bastards. We are. You grew up in S. Bizzle. Yeah. Seal Beach, which is, I don't know exactly, it's between Long and Newport. It's literally like bordering Long Beach and then Sunset Beach. Sunset Beach, so which goes into Honeywell. Newport is, is low key, it's Malibu of OC, and Seal Beach is right next to LBC, which is gangster. So yeah. you're kind of, where are you, in the middle of that? I mean, Seal Beach is literally like a mile long, and it really, like, I would put it technically in Long Beach before I would put it in really LBC. Orange County. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so I, I got you. I didn't grow up in, like, Newport, which is very different where everyone's wealthy. The, mi the minimum of a house is $5 million. Yeah. Beautiful, pristine. And no one's even living in those houses. No, like they're all empty. They are they're all empty. It's crazy. Yeah. You got and I think it's being bought by other, China. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it's true because Well I no, have, it is. My best friend sells real estate in Newport Beach and uh she lives in LA all the way to San Clemente. She covers actually all the way from Irvine and uh her buyers are about ninety five percent Chinese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I have a handyman and he's really good and he does a lot of work down there and he's like I work on houses that are beautiful that no one's ever in. Yeah, and they're lovely and they pay well. Yeah, so. Win-win. <laughs> fascinating. Yeah. Um. So, how old are you? I'm 29. 29. And what is it that you say, I hate to ask this question, but what is it, would you say that you do? Yeah, Um. I mean, right now, I mean, I have, backgrounds in multiple things, but right now um, I'm really just doing social media full-time and working on myself as a brand. Are you, where, did you go to college? No, it was never an option. Why? Um, I didn't, I technically passed high school because they pushed me through, but on the last day of high school, they put me in an office to do like file paperwork because I didn't have enough credits to pass. <laughs> and like, also I couldn't afford college either way. Really? Yeah, it wasn't an option. My parents were like, go get a job. Like, what do you mean? You're not like one of those kids that like we're sending to college. Like, that's so unrealistic and stupid. I didn't go to college either. Yeah. But I didn't want to go. But that's fascinating. Didn't you didn't want to. So what did you do right out of high school? Right out of high school, I started modeling for a company in San Francisco. I basically moved in all my stuff into my brother's house as soon as I could get out of Orange County into uh, West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. He's like a DJ club promoter, owned a big nightclub for a long time. Okay. 
and basically just like kind of went into that life of like nightclubs promoting I a little bit of modeling before they dropped me a little bottle service I never did bottle service but I did the door at a lot of nightclubs starting when I was 19 what's the number for the night for you for that um I didn't used to get paid that much what's the number for the bottle service girls Oh, what's the number? What do you mean? Like how much like they make? Bottle service girls can make. Yeah, they make like five hundred to like two thousand a night. I make like four hundred bucks as a as a non bottle service girl. Yeah, that's great. Not bad though. Like four hours. <sighs> four hours. You do that twice a week. Yeah. I mean, and I was and I got to be such a brat. Like anytime people walked up, I didn't like. I would just like deny them. <laughs> and if you were like rude, I would just like charge you, even if we weren't charging. Wow. Yeah. All right. But I did it when I was 19, which is so funny because people, I would deny them at the door and they'd be like, you're not even old enough to be here. I'd be like, what are you going to do? Call the cops? Yeah. <laughs> it was 10 years ago. Yeah, it was a long, yeah, I was going to say a long time ago. People who have to, you've changed. Yeah. Now, <laughs> so you're working, are you making, a, would you consider yourself an influencer? It's such a. I hate that terminology. I agree with you. I agree with you. You know what's weird? It's like, I never, I mean, I'm not going to lie, like I would talk rap and like make fun of influencers yeah and then i started going to conservative conferences and i had obviously a badge for the people that flew me there and they'd be like no you're here as a political influencer and then now technically i mean what i mean what it's just like whatever lame terminology i'm like there's influencer there's what creator i agree with you listen they're I'm, all lame i'm old school <laughs> you know what i mean i'm like get on tv you know be on a movie or sing a song or dance yeah. or write. I mean, but it doesn't mean that people that don't do that aren't creative and do their own thing and influential. You know what I mean? There's chefs, there's beauty bloggers, there's literally are people that are influencers and make so much money just selling products. And yeah, so that the, the world has opened up, you yeah. know what I mean? And every, the different, it, why it's part of our system is because it's a fame thing. There are people that are famous that have nothing to do with traditional fame. Yeah. And they're becoming famous for doing yeah. whatever. And that's okay. So it's like, it's, I know, it's kind of the influencing thing. I mean, to call like, myself an influencer I, I know, literally nails on I a chalk. Agree. What would you call me? What am I? I would, in my opinion, the little bit I know of you, and I didn't research you for that, but I really trust Abby. And Alex was uh, also said something. He was like, this girl's great. Who's Alex? Alex Stein. Oh, I love Alex. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> you got to have her on. And, um... And I believe Jay, uh, Jay Dyer, bigged you up. So I was like, okay, so I would say, like, to me, you're like a young pundit. Okay. Like a young, opinionated Fox News yeah. anchor. I would say I'm a, I'm a personality. Because yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't even want to put myself in the category of a creator because I'm genuinely not that creative. I'm not a very necessarily creative person. But you're doing you. But you, yeah. you, you are. You're the ability to film yourself, say an opinion very succinctly, look great doing it, get it out there. Boom. I mean, I looked at some of your stuff. You have 912 comments. Do you know what? That's pretty low. <laughs> My other one, I think I have like 300,000 comments. 300,000 comments? <laughs> yeah. Comments? 300,000 oh, no. comments? Oh, no, it's That's about 350,000 likes. I think it's about 10,000 comments, which That's is crazy. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. I know. I've never, I don't read any, I have like a policy. I don't look and I don't read my comments. I don't know why people do. If you want to become Ooh. like mentally ill, you should. Wait, you don't. Why? Wait, hold on. So this is fascinating. Yeah. See, I don't even have to think of anything. I can just sit and talk yeah. with you. But I do have specific things. You do something, mm -hmm. right? So let's say you light a match. Mm -hmm. It starts a fire, right? Yeah. You don't want to see the path of its destruction. No. Why start the fire? I mean, it's just like I don't. Like the comment sections like, are you, why people are miserable. But wait, do you agree that we all want love and acceptance as human beings. Yeah, but some a lot more than others. Acceptance is not really anything I want or care about. At all? Uh, No, it's cool. You know what it is? It's cool when people I like, like my stuff. And that's kind of cool. I'm like, oh, you're like someone that I like. That's awesome that you like my stuff. Cool. And then I just like, it's like literally two seconds of like, awesome. And then I go back to not caring. Hold on a minute. Emily, you're on social media. 
we all are on social media for different reasons, but one of the reasons is to chum the waters mm-hmm. to see if people vibe with us. I mean, nothing I do is like, I mean, I'm like anti-vibe. <laughs> I mean, the thing is also like my popularity was really recent and it was like- Really? Oh, yeah. I gained 100,000 followers in about two days, like uh, two months ago. So I'm a little late. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like nothing. I've been saying this stuff for years. I lost 10,000 followers mm-hmm. before I ever gained any and none of it gained traction. But I, and there was never a nice comment. No one liked my stuff. It would have like five views and I continued to put it out there. So if I really wanted love and acceptance, like an acceptance, like I would have just go posted like a black square on my profile and like supported, you know, the pride flag. But well, I chose to never do those things. No, but you do, you do, you, I don't even think you're trolling. I think uh, how you. No, I'm very. What you believe is what you believe. You can tell when people are trolling. Yes. But to. To. uh, Let me ask you a question. To not want some. Like. I read comments all the time. Because it's. Well, it helps me. I engage. I go sell tickets. I do I was going to say. You have a purpose for me. Those comment sections do nothing but bring negativity. And what I'll do is I'll skim through once in a while. And anything uh, nice. I Like I'll heart it real quick. Um, other than that, I don't look, it's the, it's not healthy for anyone, especially me. I'm a girl. The first thing they're going to do is attack my looks Mm -hmm. and say awful things. So for me to take in that much negativity with how much I post is just pointless. Everyone I know who's a creator influencer on, you know, that's similar to me. We all have a policy. We, we post, boom, we log off. I do not look because it's just so negative. Why do I care? Why do I care what a bunch of losers think? And if you're being nice, then great. Keep supporting me. I mean, it is, there is a lot of negativity. Because it makes me want to pop off and I don't want to do that. Pop off meaning? Like the amount of girls that leave comments on my profile where like I would just like love to go to their profile and just like tear them apart. But then I'm like disgusting and on their level. So I don't really want to. I mean, that's healthy in the sense that you're not getting dragged down to a level where you're going to go in the mud and sling. Because I used to, and I yes. used to let it bother me, and then I would be, like, nuts going on rants all day, and I had, was, like, miserable. That I agree with. Yeah. But I think, you know. Because you naturally you, want to defend yourself. Yes, but they have to They have to hit you in a place where... When people are sick, they would, like, make comments about, like, my dad is, like, literally my best friend, my favorite person, and they would, like, make, like, comments about, like, my dad dying and, like, saying they hope I get, like, raped and killed. That's sick. That's sick. Those are sick people that need to be blocked, need to be reported. Well, that's the thing. I have a policy. I don't block, and I don't, uh, I don't delete comments. It's a policy. I try not, I try not to block or delete comments either. I think that's good because it's, like... If you're gonna put yourself out there, take the heat. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. You're just not perusing the heat. By the way, those are your biggest fans because what when I post controversial things, the reason my things go viral is because people are fighting in the comments section. So without those people, they wouldn't be as viral. It's interactions. That's how you get your posts up. Yes. All I'm saying is I just think that I would I sometimes I wanna I definitely care and look, so maybe I care more than you. But Yeah, I just don't. I like I like to like go outside and be on walks and be off my phone because like obviously, how much are you on your phone? A lot. Too much. And computer. Yeah, it's too a much. lot. And it gives me crazy migraines. It makes me nauseous and it makes me exhausted. So I post. I log off. If there's a great comment, it'll be usually at the top. Yeah. And then I can see it and like it and respond and maybe say thank you. Yeah.